Alrighty guys, it's episode 12, and in this episode, it is night time at the moment, but we can always fast forward to that when we get it, but I just wanted to show you guys, before I did it, that I went and mined a crap load of stone, um, just near the base where we are currently, and I've got out of the forge 256 um, iron bars, and with this we're going to turn that into iron spikes, before horde night. I've also got 26 of these right here and these are going to make us over here a trusty cement mixer guys episode 12 we've got a cement mixer on the way we've also got a crap load of iron spikes there's spike coming which i think should make us 64 spikes yep there we go 38 minutes to make those so it should give us enough time to for me to go out and do some mining um and get some more and replenish our stocks because we just used up a lot we had that i think seven or eight thousand um we're building up on a few things, I'm short on clay, but that's nothing that we're gonna we're gonna fill that up pretty quick when we start um, building the base anyway, digging out the ground. So, um, yep, it's episode 12, guys. Hope you enjoy this episode, everyone. I'll see you guys in a minute because I am about to go out with our newfound mini bike and see if we can find some more iron because I think I marked iron an iron deposit somewhere actually. Yeah, right here. So I might just set that wherever it is zoom in a little bit no i want iron set it's around here somewhere iron right there quick waypoint all right so i'm going to go out in this unsafe night and do some uh mining and i shall be right back with my dudes and dudettes see you soon guys okay guys we're at the iron mine um and i've before I wanted to show you guys something that I do to try and make your mind safe. How to make it safe. So first of all, you want to cut out a hole. Um, when you mine anyway. When you've already been here, obviously, like we were a few episodes back, we are mining out this hole. To make your mind safe, you want to get yourself some wooden frames. You don't need a lot, just enough. And lay them on the outside first, making sure... Take as much care as you can to make sure that there's no gaps at all in... The frames and where you put them okay because you don't want to have a vertices where there is a hole okay leave a single frame hole in the middle is fine it doesn't really matter um, and what this is going to do it's going to stop zombies from falling through the vertices because if there's a hole um, that a zombie can stand on they might turn in a certain direction and a player as well and you can actually fall through the hole so what I do is I do this at the top of the hole that you've dug out in your mine or whatever and you've got that part there put in a main wall to go down to the bottom you don't need to upgrade these straight away so you can do that afterwards right and then you get some ladders and you put some ladders on there right and the ladders to make five should be enough for now ladders will obviously stick to these poles that we made one two three four and five okay so now we can get out all right we're out and put a hatch on top all right hatch wooden hatch they can upgrade upgrade this to whatever you want to it's totally up to you but for the moment because it's just a mine um this should be fine stand the back so i can there we go right now we can safely get in and out of our mine right now, this also serves as a support for the walls and the braces and stuff because as you're mining out this air, as I'm mining out this area, it's going to become, especially the dirt walls, will become uh, quite unstable. So while we're here, we might as well just quickly upgrade the center wall for now. We'll do the other other stuff when we get outside. Okay, but that's all we need to do for now. Make sure we're down. We close the lid on us. The zombies now can attack down. Um, but this is just something, another layer of defense, because if there's a zombie beating on this wood, we're going to hear it, and he's outside, and they're beating the crap out of it, and this is more important after day seven, when you start to get wandering hordes and stuff like that throughout the day, so this will help us a lot with protection, because if there's zombies out there, we're either going to hear them, or we're at least going to hear them banging their heads and arms and stuff on the wood. So you can upgrade that to scrap blocks if you want to or something like that to extra protection. 
um, but something that's loud. Um, so if they're hitting on it, you can hear them. That's a nice little handy tip. I'm going to go mine as much of this as I can, because we're a bit low on iron. Not desperately low, but it is something we need to start, we need to stock up on for the base, for the base upgrade. Um, when I say upgrade, I'm talking about uh, the horde base that we're going to be working on. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a minute, and I'll hopefully have plenty of iron. Alright, I'll see you guys shortly. Thanks very much. Alright guys, another mining tip. So, as I said before, the further we dig into walls and things like that, with, especially with dirt above us, the less stable it's going to become, so we need to brace it with supports. Um, it doesn't need to be pretty, because I mean, it's a mine, it doesn't need to be pretty. But if you're one of those pedantic people, you can keep it pretty if you want to, I'm not going to hold it against you. But, we want to keep this place stable, because the last thing we want to do is create a giant hole in the ground. Um, if you dig out too much dirt, or support structure, whether it's stone or iron or whatever, the top layer above us here that we've created is going to become unstable. In fact, this is probably quite unstable. If I dug out this wall... Or here this entire section here would probably fall down because it's currently offering support but if I put down some frames and just make sure you don't put it over where there's going to be an iron deposit if there's going to be if we need the support to hold this wall up um, we don't want to put it here because what that's going to do it's going to block up this bit of iron deposit just here all right but once it's in place it should be good so we'll just cut this down quickly and remove this section of dirt. Removing it from the floor is not a problem. Digging down isn't a problem. It's digging into the walls. So as you're following your vein, see it's going further down. So here, I'm just going to dig this out to expose the vein so we can see if we can better plan where we're going to put our frames. Um, the other thing too, of course, it does hurt. When this stuff falls on you, it can hurt you. I'm, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. I remember in like Alpha you know, 10 and 9 and 8, um, it could actually kill you if the whole mine collapsed on your head. It's probably still the case, but I'm not sure if it's actually as brutal um, in this version of the game. So I'm just going to dig this out here. Like so, exposing the vein. See the vein goes across there and down here. This is probably quite a big um, iron mine too. Um, it's so much easier with an auger. But, see, this vein is all connected, so we're standing pretty much on solid iron, really, at the moment. Um, but if you see here, I've actually dug out under this wooden pillar. Um, but if I put this support in here, I'm not too worried. Where did that just go? There we go. See how I've done this? Now, I'm not worried that I can't get to that vein, because I can dig around it from the other side. But here, though... It's not quite the case. You don't want to get too far down that you can't actually get out of your mind that you've created. Another thing to be wary of. Another safety instruction from Nux Zero Zero. So we're digging into this to expose more of the vein and to get more stone while we're at it. Now, I'm going to brace that wall in a second to the left of us where we just were before. That looks like it's not actual iron. No, it's dirt. Sand and stone mixed them together, I think. Yeah. Dig into this, expose it a bit more. Now, being completely aware that we're not after uh, sand or clay like that, this part of the soil is actually really good for getting stone. Okay, don't hit that. There we go, right there. That's actually lead above us as well, which is good. So we've got a bit of lead mixed in with it. And normally when you find an iron mine, you'll also find um, uh, lead mixed in with it as well. And sometimes you might come across shale, oil shale, which helps. What we're doing here is digging out the dirt, well, in this case sand and gravel, to expose the minerals. Okay. Right, and that can keep going. It looks, it looks like that's, it's going to go pretty. It's going to be quite a large mine, I think. Looking at this, now this wall here has some, some is some concern. So let's see if we put a frame there. Where's it going to go down to? I mean, it's, we can always dig behind it, and I'll just growl like a big manly man that I am. 
the Kia and go frame. Good frame. Oh, no, not make that many. We'll just make another 20, because we are going to use these in the mine anyway. I'm very wasteful, actually, guys. So now, we don't really have to worry about digging under here now. This shouldn't really collapse. I mean, I think it actually still might slightly, so I might dig this bit out here. Go yeah, like this. Expose more of that vein on the left of us. Okay. Expose some of this over here. I mean, we're already up to almost 3,000 iron. And I haven't really been here for that long to do it, but... That. That's iron that we have. There we go. But yeah, the wider we make these walls the less stable the roof is going to be. Um, right here. Digging in. Oh, my, sh my shitty brown shot. I need to make a new shovel. No repair kits on me. Okay, well that's that. So, that is how you make your mine safer. You just keep doing that. Um, and like I said, having the roof up there really helps. So I'm going to go up there. Uh, yep, there we go. No, nope, I can't get up there. Here we go, try here. There we go. Alright, get up to the top. Close it off. I'll just upgrade this. Once again, the reason being, we don't want zombies jumping in the hole while we're down there mining in such a confined space, because you can easily die inside those mines while you're in there. I actually put it... No, okay. Okay. Okay, guys, we just got back to base, and I've just put some of the iron that we found on the forge for melting in. I put some more clay in there, because we are low on clay. Um, and I just checked see how a cement mix is done and it's made and we're almost finished on the spikes so hopefully this episode or next probably next episode we'll be able to get a start on the base so put that in there um, in our chest we'll get out some stone not too much I don't go too overboard with it that and that and that should give us some concrete mix 50 piece precise on that one um, put this in there. What's our stone up to? 8,000. Okay, so let's make some cement. And we'll get as much of that as we can, because we are going to use it all. We're going to need a lot of cement. Like, in the thousands and thousands of cement. Eventually. If we can build straight from rebar, straight into cement blocks. Reinforced cement blocks. Um, that'll be another advantage. We've also got the other stuff to do as well. That's pretty good. Eventually we'll be able to make another cement mixer and make this process faster, but I am short, I do believe, on... I've got plenty of springs, I'm going to have plenty of iron shortly. We are short on... Uh, what's it called? I've got a memory blank, guys, I'm sorry. We are short on uh, engines. Unless I've got some upstairs, I don't think I do. We've got some upstairs, we can probably whack it out another cement mixer to make the process even faster. Oh, we've got plenty of engines. We've got three of them. So we could easily make another cement mixer. That's something to think about. We can do that maybe in one of the next two episodes or so. Something to keep in mind. Alright, let's go get this trader quest done. I'll make sure I've got all the supplies that I need before I go out. I will take... I've already got one kit on me. Got that on me. That's fine. I've got a bit of fuel in case we need it. Lock picks are handy. Put that away. Don't need that. Got some wood in case we need it. I've uh, got my shotgun. Got my baton. That should be all we really need. Yep, there we go. That should be fine. I think we're pretty good there. I don't have my hunting rifle, but that's really no good for doing what we're about to do. Um, yeah, we should be fine with what we've got. Oh, repair kits. Almost forgot, guys. Almost forgot the repair kits. Gotta have the repair kits. We're actually running low on those all of a sudden. But that's because I've got to keep repairing that crappy shovel. Hopefully we get something good in this loot run. Oh, 
almost forgot. Thank you for inviting me, everyone. Not. Is I almost forgot our lucky goggles. So let's put them on. There we go. Don't need the nerdy ones at the moment. Let's get ourselves. Oh, I'm wearing them. Okay, cool. I'm thinking, oh, where'd they go? Alright. Head up to the bay, to the POI. I'm going to head light off, don't need that during the day. But I'll tell you what, mining during the night with the mining helmet, I felt like a real miner. I don't think it's too far away. 1.6 Ks. That'll be a good ride. Head over there and see what we find. I have got the wrench with me as well. Um, contemplating whether or not I scrap some cars along the way, but probably not for this episode, I don't think. Just because we've already spent a bit of time doing the mining tutorial part. Okay, guys, we've got to the town that our point of interest is in. It's a desert town, the looks of it. Um, we're gonna There it is right there. Get in there, and we'll see what we shall see. There's actually some pretty cool stuff around here. I mean, I haven't actually explored it enough to say it's amazing, but so far it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Now, pick up our mini bike, put it in inventory so if we do die, we've got a way of getting back. Um, Slid around outside to make sure there's nothing here worthwhile taking. Drinks some water. There we go. I don't want to scrap that just yet. We'll see how we go on the inside. Let's do it. Open the front door. There we go. Wakey wakey. Hey, buddy. Get down. Die. Fucking die. There we go. He's cooked. Best bet, I think, is to run around and kill everything first. Oh, yeah. oh they're outside. Fair enough. Oh, well, they're coming for us, aren't they? It's tighter down here. Come on, guys. Yep, headbutt it. That's it. Remember guys, we're we'll going to watch them on the stairs, because they seem to move down the stairs a lot faster. Oh, and he jumped. Okay. That was a bit hairy. It's my fault for brushing that a little bit too much. I just love how they headbutt stuff. I don't understand why they're doing that. I could actually just get a hit on her. Yeah, you're cooked. Got the supplies. That was disturbingly easy. And got to kill everything now. Eee, I wasn't going to loot straight away. Oh, junk turret. Oh, Iron Reinforced Club. Gosh, I haven't upgraded to that yet. Cool. Something else to sell. I'm presuming we'll go outside the door here. Like we do. We go. Door's locked. You slimy, slimy person. Hide right around the corner there. Being all smelly and dead and stuff. Yeah. Headshot. Get on the side here. I'm presuming here, guys, I'm going the right way. I'm really not sure. But I think there's a, a direction you're supposed to go with all the locked doors and stuff. Whoa. Guys, what the... What the... A purple knife... A purple bone knife. I mean, it's a bone knife, so it's not totally amazing, but hey, it's better than the shitty white, crappy level 1 one we had. I jump through here. There we go. It's a matter of getting it in the right spot. 
I'm still not hitting it. No, I'm still hitting it. Oh my god, this is terrible. That was really annoying. Okay, so then upstairs. Uh, we've got some wooden frames here, so let's put these down just to make it a bit safer for us. We don't have to run all that way again. I say that as I promptly fall through the floor. That'll do. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Up. Okay. Bird's nest. Just gonna make sure everything's reloaded. Fine. Yeah. about placement. Yeah, I wasn't too keen on taking all them on in melee combat on this tight little roof, so yeah, unfortunately I had to pop out the shoddy. Put the work on them with that. So we've still got some zombies alive apparently. That's okay. Let's go and have a look. Oh yeah, the garage. Yellow bow. Meh. Totally meh. Yeah, is that a long fall for us? It probably is. Alright, I think they come up from downstairs, these dudes. Yeah, they do. Come get some. Come on. Be close up. There you go. Out the way. Come on, boys. Roll up, roll up. I missed on that one. Let's put a bit of distance between me and him. Switch to the handgun. Here's someone up the top. Where are they? Down. One's on metal. Are they outside or inside? I'm not sure. Oh, it's outside. Alright, we cleared everything in here. And we'll go downstairs and loot and see what we get, guys. So let's have a look. Uh, loot this one. Oh, yeah. Auger. 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 Kingdom for an auger. Oh, but I'm happy with that. I am totally happy with that. Steel shovel. Brown. Okay. What else to sell? Let's make sure we're not surrounded by Z's. Looks oh, like we're pretty safe at the moment. Uh, yeah, pretty average, guys. Pretty average. I think they... I think our friends finally made it inside today. I can hear them walking. Oh, they're breaking something up there. They got attracted to my shotgun noise, I think. Alright. Stop the attacking so that it sounds like they're broken through, I think, almost. Oh, she's getting there. Frickin' lay down, biatch. Uh, what have we got? Anything in here to loot? Oh, no. What's in there? What's in there? I don't know this PO, or this um, point of interest very well. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I mean, there is some garbage piles around, um, but I'm not too fast on not looting if I'm not looting them. Found a way out. Yep, cool. Ooh. Is this active? No, it's not. Okay, use those. 
So if you're in that room, how are you actually supposed to get out without going through the wall? Like where's the out? Is it down? Is it an out downstairs? That doesn't look like it. Put this pile on here. Alright, let's go up. Nothing there, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, cool. BTFO. This away. Where did our mini bike go? There it is. Go back to the trader, I guess. On oh, that big long hike, there it is. That way. Man, that's a really long drive. Um, oh, another school academy. Where's this road actually take us? Looks like it goes this way. Alright, let's follow this road. Hello, the yellow brick road. Two hits, cool. There is some stuff to loot. Hello, Mr. Bikey Man. Is he dead? Lie down, you naughty hell's angel. There we go. Alright guys, I'll ride back and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright boys and girls, we are here at the trader. There we go, let's run inside and sell the crap to the dude. And pick up the quest reward. Your money is welcome here. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. Wow. And here you go. Guys, check it out. A baseball bat, level 3. What's this one do? 14 melee damage. 27. 16 stem. 11 stem. Oh, baseball bats. Pretty freaking good. Sell that. Sell that, sell that. Keep our steel shovel. Sell that, we don't need it. He doesn't want glass, fair enough, don't blame him. Sell that. No, doesn't want that either. Uh, what else we got? You can see, get rid of that. I did actually kill uh, quite a few. Sorry, not kill. Scrap quite a few carcasses on the ground. So we got a fair bit of stuff from that. I thank you, kind What's sir. You got? Any jobs? Clear zombies, fetching clear. Here, two of three kilometers. Oh, there's a fetch one here for 270 meters south. That's towards base. Think you can help me? With... Well, alrighty then. Let's do it. Let's get the ball. Let's going. do it, guys. Where are they? Make sure our stuff's reloaded. Yeah. <laughs> Clunk. Love that sound. Man, they're baseball bats. Fucking sick, man. What's this? Ranger's Guide to Archery. Yeah, whatever. I haven't got it. Let's loot it. Oh, baseball bats. Cool. Got this guy at the door. He wants to get us. Some batter up, buddy. Batter up. <laughs> oh man, the baseball bat. Yeah, I was thinking the stun button's like totally good. Baseball bats, awesome. Another splint. What's with these crappy splints that I keep finding? What have we got? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Table saw, nice. There's a friend over there. Whoop. 
Well, that mother trucker was going nuts. Hell yes. What I want is a cricket bat. Being an Australian, we play cricket. We don't play baseball over here. Well, at least not everybody. That'd be cool to have that. Uh, da -da -da -da, there's something behind here. Oh no, there's not. False alarm. <laughs> uh, we'll check the workbench. Okay, upstairs we go. I will loot those of stuff in a minute. I just want to make sure we're safe and kill, kill what's in here first. Did I just kill her in one hit? I think I did. Wow. That missed. Lie down. There we go. Oh, I'm infected, guys. Uh, oh, well, this should be alright. We've got. We should get this done before we get too infected. Choose the honey. Uh, where's the white room supplies? 23 meters. Wait, how big is this? How big is this POA? Must be big. Oh, yeah, out here. Okay. Now on the roof. Presuming we're on the right way. Over here somewhere. Ah, oh, crap. Frickin' lie down, bitch. Close to the supplies, there they are. Got them. There we came, looks like it. Not easily. Go through this way. Go. Split the stuff and see what we get in this hole. You are encumbered. Yeah, I know I'm encumbered. I'm carrying like half the shop, mate. Uh, cupboard up there. Garbage. I'm just I'm looking around because sometimes I hide stuff behind other things. I'm making sure there's a place, looking at places where there could be something hiding behind it. something running towards me, what is it? Rawr! You just got snapped. Alright. Nick back to the trader guys. and girls i shall leave the episode here see you next episode thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on the next episode where we dig up these supplies and do a few more trade missions and perhaps even make a start on our horde base thanks very much guys thanks for watching see you next time bye bye